Hey guys, Augie from TNVC here. Today we're going to talk a little bit about helmet mounted illumination. Um, what I will say is, is you know, what I'm going to be talking about today, these are my preferences for helmet mounted illumination. Uh, I'm not saying that these are the only, this is the only way that you should set up your helmet mounted illumination, that these are the only products uh, that, that you'll want to use, but these are the, some of the products that work for me. Um, and, and the way that, that I kind of like to set, to set my helmets up. You know, it's a common question that we'll get from customers. You know, they'll call us up and they'll want to, to just kind of talk about what they should buy. Uh, and a lot of times people who are getting set up from, you know, from the start, uh, they want to talk about they, they want to talk about everything. They want to talk about what kind of goggles are best suited to their needs and their budget. Um, we'll talk about different kinds of helmets that they should get, whether they need a bump or ballistic helmet. We'll talk about mounts. We'll talk about counterweights and battery packs. Uh, and then, you know, we'll always get around to the question of what else uh, should I get? What else would you recommend? What do you have on your helmet? Uh, so that's kind of the, the inspiration be behind making this video. So pretty much all of my helmets have kind of two general types of helmet mounted supplemental uh, supplemental uh, illumination. One thing that I would point out, so you can see here, I've got two different sets of goggles. Um, these are the L3 PVS 31s and these are uh, the TNV Artemis. Uh, two different sets of goggles, different types of goggles. And the big difference for these purposes are that the PVS 31s don't have um, any kind of onboard uh, illuminator, whereas the Artemis and a lot of other goggles do have an onboard illuminator. That being said, um, the onboard illuminator on the set of goggles themselves is not really something that I use very much at all. Um, I'm not saying that it's wrong if you do use them, um, but it's just not my preference. I prefer to have you know, some other type of supplemental illumination. So you can see here um, on, on both of these helmets, and, and both, are, both of these are my helmets. This is a uh, OpsCore carbon bump. Uh, so it's a non-ballistic helmet, and this is a fast SF ballistic helmet. You can see that on the right side, uh, I have this Princeton Tech MPLS switch admin light. So this Princeton Tech MPLS admin light, you know, it's really just a small uh, LED light. It's got this uh, maneuverable neck so you can move it around. So the version of the MPLS uh, that, that, I per that I tend to prefer is um, the one that's got the white and red LEDs. And, and you know, some of that is, is almost force of habit. You know, I came up back with the, uh, the, old angled, uh, the old angled red lens flashlights and doing my patrolling in the woods uh, with those. So I like to have the red light and then I also like to have the white light. So for me, I typically use the MPLS um, as, as more of an admin light, as more of a task light. So there's no IR setting um, on my admin light because this is, you know, this is whether I'm using it for SSE uh, or, or whether you know, I, I need to write something down um, and, and I'm in some sort of safe location where I can have you know, a very low intensity. Uh, visible light or, or red light or something like that, you know, whether I'm using it, you know, within the patrol base or something like that, you know, that's what ultimately I like to use um, the admin light for. And that's why, you know, I, I like the MPLS switch because it is a very low intensity LED. Now, on the other side of the both of these helmets, I have um, a variation of some sort of Surefire Vampire light. So the Surefire Vampire lights, as you probably know, are Surefire's dual spectrum uh, white and IR lights. And so for, for supplemental IR illumination, but also for, you know, also again, if I'm doing some sort of SSE and I need a little bit, uh, you know, more of an intense white light or something like that, you know, I find it good to have a, a dual spectrum light um, and that I've got mounted over on the left side of the helmet so, so that, you know, because I may be using it in the IR or something like that, because I may be using it in a more active situation as opposed to the admin light, uh, I'm able to, you know, maintain positive control over my weapon while still being able to, to activate that light. 
Both of these are, are variations on, you know, Surefire Vampire Lights, you know, the, the Surefire M300V or M340V in this case. Uh, but they've got two slightly different mounts. To be honest, you know, I wouldn't say that, that, that one is any better than the other. There are some advantages and disadvantages to, to these two different types of mounts. Uh, but they ultimately both work similarly, and, and ultimately I, I, I use them both interchangeably. So the first one that I've got here is uh, the, the Theorem Very Arc uh, with a standard Surefire factory M340V. So, so the M340 is, is the pro version with, that, with the uh, swiveling body with the integral uh, offset mount built in. And what the Theorem Variarc is, is it's, it's honestly just a piece of rail that slots into the arc rail ecosystem um, on any ops core helmet or any helmet that uses uh, arc rails. The cool thing about the, uh, the, the Variarc is, is uh, as its name implies, it can rotate. Uh, so you, you, you might not be able to tell um, on the video, but it's got positive stops, it's got positive detents, and it can rotate a full 360 degrees. Um, and so you can angle it up, you can angle it down, um, you, you can use it as umbrella lighting, uh, and it's very cost effective. Um, you know, again, it's about $20 for, for just uh, for, for just the very arc, obviously you need to buy the light separately uh, and mount it on there. And again, it just uses a factory um, Surefire light or a factory light uh, of any type that's going to fit a Picatinny interface. The other helmet mount uh, that I have is is the uh, SNS Precision uh, Max mount, you know, M-AX. So what this is, unlike the very arc, which is just you know a rotating Picatinny rail that slots into the arc system, uh, the the max mount is a replacement body. So you can see here, and and you can see that there are different colors. I've got a black tail cap and a black bezel uh, that I've installed on a tan max mount. And the cool thing about the max mount is, like the very arc, you know, it can rotate around. It uses a little ball joint, uh, but because it uses that ball joint, you can also angle it uh, a little bit. You, you can angle it more on the fly, and you can adjust the tension of that ball joint. So you can do all of the same things that you can do with the very arc. You can point it down at the ground if you want to bounce some light off the ground. You can use it for umbrella lighting, but you also have a little bit more directional control if you want to if you want to push it out to the side, or you want it closer to the center line. So it's got a little bit more adjustability, and you can also stow it very close into the helmet if you just want to push it in so that it's not hanging off to the side quite as much. Now that being said, you know the the SNS Precision Max mount is 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 definitely a, a more expensive uh, illumination solution than the Very Arc uh, because it, it it does come with the body and you can also purchase it with the light components attached. So it is a little bit more expensive. Again, you, you know, there's I, I wouldn't say that I think one is is you know. Uh, hands down, superior to the other. Um, you have a little bit more flexibility with the very arc because you can just use a factory light. You know, I've got this this uh, M340V attached to it, but if you wanted to use, like, say, something like uh, an X300V or something like that, that's got the slide lock, or if you wanted some sort of quick detach system so that you can have a multi-purpose light that you can take on and off your helmet, um, you, you know, the very arc is is great for something like that. Uh, again, the the max mount does have a little bit more, um, you, you know, a little bit more rotational movement from that ball joint. And of course, the best thing about all of these uh, helmet mounted illumination tools is that the the Princeton Tech MPLS switch, the Very Arc, the Surefire lights, the SNS Precision Max are all available from TNVC.com. <laughs>